Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the valid anagram problem. This is a lead for DC and the number for this is 242. So in the given problem, we are having two strings S and T and we have to return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. Now let's see what is an anagram. So according to the definition given here, an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using original letters exactly once. So basically if you have a string, so you can jumble the letters of the string but cannot add or remove any letters from it and that would uh, the new string form will be anagram. So uh, in the new string the frequency of the element will be also the same as the original string and the only thing is that the position of the letters can be changed. So this is an anagram. Uh, now let's see how we are going to solve. So we are having two strings right. So the main idea is to use an array to keep the track of frequency of each uh, character in the S and T and then uh, if the frequency of each character in both the string are same that means they are anagram and we can return true otherwise not. So let's see through an example. Suppose we have the example one. Uh, s equal to anagram and t equal to nagaram nagaram so let's see so for s a occurs one two and three times so the a is three for t a also comes three times which is true now g comes one times in both m also once in both n also one in both s and t and r also one time only so this would be a anagram because you see the frequency of uh, the characters in s and t are exactly same so if you calculate the difference you will always get zero and if the difference is not zero at any point of time you can return for uh, false from there so this means this is a valid anagram now let's check for the second uh, example as well the second example is s equal to rat and t equal to car so for s equal to rat the frequency table will be r equal to 1 a equal to 1 and t equal to 1 and for car it will be c equal to 1 a equal to 1 and r equal to 1 and t will be 0 in this case so when you will calculate the difference you will get a difference here and a difference here this means if you get a difference that means this is not a valid anagram and you can simply return false from the end. So in this way we are going to uh, solve the problem and now let's come to the code section but before that uh, do like the video share it with your friends uh, and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and so we'll be starting with uh, checking if both the strings are equal or not so for that we'll be checking the length. If the length is not equal, how will be how will they be anagrams? So we can return a false here. If the length is not equal, otherwise we'll create an array which we'll be using as a hash. So we'll be using this as a hash to count the frequency of each element. Now for every character x in the string. We cannot, we cannot directly write string so we have to convert it into two char array x minus a plus plus so initially we will do plus plus and uh, like for all the elements in the uh, s we'll do a map plus plus and for all the elements in the t we'll do a map minus minus so at the end if they are valid anagram so the map should only contain zero and if it does not contain zero this means that uh, the strings were not in uh, anagram of each other so for the first string we have done now let's do the same thing for the second string as well 
t dot two char array map We are going to iterate in the map, and if i is not equal to zero, this means there is an uh, difference in the frequencies, and we can simply return zero. This map is uh, not actually a hash map, but it is an array. So this that is why we can iterate like this using our auto iterator. Uh, and if at any point we have, don't have zero, that means the difference is either. Uh, not equal to zero, then it means we have to return false. And if it passes all these things, this means definitely the uh, definitely the strings are anagram of each other, so we can return to. So let's try to run for the sample test cases. Uh, it should be x here. The sample test case is a path. Let's try to submit it. The hidden test case is also pass and give a good time complexity and a fair memory complexity. Now, the time complexity for this solution is O of n, where n is the length of the string, and we iterate through both the string once, so that's why it will be O of 2n, which boils down to O of n, and the space complexity is O of 1 because we use a array of constant size of size 26 so that's why the space is also constant you can also check the solutions uh, the c++ python and the javascript code by, by going into the solu solutions panel and then i think it will be the most recent this this one is my solution you can check and uh, in this you can read the intuition, approach, complexity, code in Java, C++, Python and JavaScript. And do remember to upvote. So I hope you understood the logic. Please share the video with your friends. Like to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.